We are at Brie on Brow's headquarters. I haven't vlogged much this week because it's been really busy, but as you can see, Papa, Papa Smurf, AKA my dad, is here. We're putting up the drywall. My uncle, Uncle Anthony, has put my door in there. We're probably gonna put a double door later, but this to do for right now is 36 inches wide. Um, we're just gonna do the bottom layer today, wait till my uncle comes and shores up the wall, and then we'll do the top layer of drywall. Then we're gonna mud and paint. So it's coming, it's coming y'all. Look at this, Are we, my cousin's gonna paint for me. We need a fresh coat of white paint, new sink eventually, fresh coat of white paint. We're gonna do the uh, pillars black up until the, that pole, up until like that pole that goes across like that, cause we're doing black and white in here. But we're gonna make it look as a uh, clean, so fresh and so clean as we can. This will end up probably be once we expand out of this space, this will probably end up being just a production area. And then once we expand over there, we'll do like actual shelving space. My dad, look at him, he's working hard. Shelving space and then offices way over in the corner. So, uh -huh. y'all say hi to Papa Smurf. All right, I gotta go help. I'll see y'all later, bye. Good evening. We got a half a wall, y'all. There we go. Say hey, Dad. Hey. <laughs> I still a beast, baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we can't do the drywall by the door because he needs to like do. My uncle Anthony needs to do some more stuff first. Um, but Monday, they're back at it. He's gonna shore up the wall and pull out, like bring out like some um. I don't know how he's gonna do it, but like little thingies to make sure that the wall doesn't fall, although it's pretty sturdy now. They're gonna tighten that little thing that's holding the wall up as well, and they have it in the ground. And then once they shore that up, then they're gonna do the top layer of um, drywall. Um, and then we're gonna mud and tape so today is the 21st. I have to be out of here by the 31st. Um, so my, my first day in office is the first here, but I can technically come anytime he says. So it's coming. Another thing we, we need to do, because I'm on an iPhone, I can't switch the sides. So I'll just walk backwards. Another thing we need to do, of course, is paint. We're gonna paint all the way up to that pole and like I said, do the poles black. But back here, look at this. Ew. So I think I, we have to clean that. And then also, and this might even be back, but we got rust there that we need to get rid of. So. It is Friday evening, almost eight o'clock. I got to work at about 9.15, no, nine, I dropped off, by 9.45. Um, and after I ended my day at my office at four, I went to get my kids. Um, my uncle who came straight from work asked me to bring him some food, so I brought him some food. Then we went to the post office, then I got my kids food. I normally cook, but I don't know why my day is playing and stuff. Uh, I normally cook on Fridays. Only day I don't really cook is Sunday evenings. Well, Sundays, sometimes I cook. Most times I don't if I do something fast. But um, I didn't have time to cook today. So I um, got them Burger King. That's what they wanted. My husband had said he had had something earlier that he was still full from. And I had... A little bit of Chipotle that I'm gonna finish when I get home in a little bit. But it hit, I don't know why he's playing that that loud. <laughs> That's what older people do, I suppose. Anyway, we gonna go, I'm gonna go. We gonna clean up a little bit. Um, 
and then i'll probably give y'all an update about like the this is just a warehouse about the business side we're making some we're making some amazing strides um um so we'll talk about that a little later but happy friday i don't know what day y'all gonna see this so scratch that but i will talk to y'all later okay hey there um it is monday what's today may 24th that means i am exactly seven days away from moving out of my current um office there's some things that i'm really going to miss about it but i am so excited to get started y'all see i'm looking at the camera this time all these other uh videos i've been looking this way and there we go hey y'all gotta remember where to look we are at brie on brows headquarters my dad and my uncle are low-key arguing about the wall but we have a full wall here um it doesn't make the space look small so i'm happy about that we haven't painted yet but it looks good um so i guess i'll show y'all when it's done that's uncle anthony there it i thought it was gonna look real small but it does not look small it looks really good so i'm happy we got a headquarters y'all i'm so happy i think well i can't show y'all because i can't flip it i think right here i want to do like a waiting area like two chairs there and i think i'm gonna have a uh what do you call it like a check-in area here and then the couch is gonna be behind that and then my office is gonna be behind that i think i don't know but i have a wall and i was i was afraid that the wall was gonna make it look small but it doesn't i think the high step, even though it's, it's a really nice large space but i was afraid that the wall was gonna make it seem small but it doesn't it is going to be these little footings here um that i'm not excited about but he want to make sure that the wall is sturdy so here's what it is but i'm excited y'all here we 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 got us a wall a full wall and a door and a door hey y'all may 26th 6th 3 45 i have to leave, leave here in 15 minutes to go get my kids um literally came in to work and then i randomly hit up one of my cousins my twin cousins i hit up timothy and asked him when he could help me move and he's like i can come today so he got his twin brother titus and they moved the infamous not infamous but the blue couch my favorite blue couch and then uh titus had to go but my cousin and i cousin timothy we moved a lot and i'll give you a peek i cannot wait to get out of here every year the year the roof leaks once a year and it ruins the tiles so they're going to switch those tiles out but it's just such an eyesore it looks like coffee so of course i'm going to hold the camera bootleg but as you can see the desk back there that we used to use for shipping is gone um the couch is gone the desk that was there is gone everything mostly everything is gone my goal is to sorry if this is shaking a lot my goal is to uh come and pack uh tomorrow and then friday and then saturday i'm gonna be going to my warehouse and just uh kind of taking some of my stuff outside and spray painting it we're gonna do our desks were black we're white here we're gonna do black for over there we're going for a really nice modern minimal black and white theme um 
And I'm realizing I probably can't do everything I want to do right away. But I'm going to get the basics together. So tomorrow, so let me tell you what I got to do. It is 347. I got to go pick up my children in about 13 minutes. I have to bring them back here, make some product, pack some orders. Okay. Then I have to, oh, excuse me, drop them off at home and then go close up behind my contractor. The wall is up. It is currently being painted. No, it's being sanded and mud and sanded. No, mud, taped and mud, mudded. And hopefully tomorrow it will be sanded. And then um, by Sunday, all of the walls should be painted. Uh, I kind of have a loose idea of how I want the warehouse to be set up. I do, I'm going to keep production at the back. Uh, shipping at the back and then towards the front we're going to do um like custom service seating area my office i decided i'm going to go black on black um so i gotta go let him out then i i i'm gonna print these orders and i probably are they probably end up getting shipped tomorrow and then um i have to write so as you all know i am also in school and as a part of my internship, I get to write a chapter in a book for an organization and it is due Friday. I cannot wait till it is over. I'm honored to write it. Um, but it's been something that's been kind of stressful for me. Because I just want it to be nice and I want it to be right. And I want it, you know what I mean? So it's kind of been stressful. So I am looking forward to meeting that deadline on Friday. Um, and then... Saturday, I plan on going to my warehouse and I'm going to kind of do some cosmetic stuff. Our desks are currently white, which did not work out well. So I'm going to spray paint them black. I need to buy new seats for my, um, for my uh, uh, new chairs. Um, and I know I've been talking a lot about this warehouse because that's like the biggest thing. But we do have a huge opportunity coming up. Um, that we have to get prepared for. We have to make additional product, label some stuff. Um, <sighs> I'm trying to figure out this Amazon thing. It's saying that my stuff is being received, but it's only showing that it, that I sent 12. And I well, I sent 160, but it's only showing that 12 are in there. So that's going on. So it, it's a lot. Being a business owner is not easy, especially when you're first starting out. People try to make it glamorous, you know. Oh, I, you know, people, people you see the, the glittery part of it. You know, you get to see people with their bags and they're flying and they're speaking here and people buying their products and they're standing in front of the pile of packages that's like to the ceiling that they're shipping off. But this is the dirty work. I have to um, rehire. So I'm doing a lot of things on my own. I, as I said, I do have a volunteer who comes three times a week. Um, and it's a lot. While being in grad school, two children, a husband. My husband's a pastor. I'm active in our church. It is a lot. But I'm figuring out, figuring it out. Um, I only have, I want to say, like a year and a half left in grad school. So that'll go by fast. Um, so all that said, it's possible to have a full plate, still be entrepreneur, entrepreneur still be, you know, to still do it with every other thing you have going on. You just have to plan really, really well. Um, so yeah.